That's, that's why we call fighters, you know? So we have to fight and uh, short notice or long. I don't mind, so just as we can fight, I'm uh, glad, so it's no problem. We train harder, a little bit harder than you had to do, you know, because you have shorter time, but that's why we fight it, so I think it's okay. Yeah, a fighter is always ready, and I'm a fighter, so I'm always ready, you know. You can wake me up and we can fight, so it's no problem, so, you know, let's do it. I, I don't really, that's not my position. That's fortunately what, you know, Scott and Rich and, and Bob make decisions about. I just go out there and put on a performance. So my responsibility is to go out and, you know, win fights. Uh, there, there's a lot of guys I want to fight in the division. Fortunately, Melvin and I are in a fantastic division. Next to the heavyweights, I think we have the most stacked division in strike force. So there's a whole bunch of guys that I'm looking forward to fighting. Um, you know, we'll see how Melvin's my performance is on Saturday night, you know. Maybe it's going to bore everybody and be like, oh, we don't want either of those guys on the card ever again. Or maybe it'll be the fight of the night and, like, you guys can't wait to see us again. So it's just about a performance on Saturday. Yeah, it's the same, you know. Uh my striking is my strong point, I think, so uh, I'm going to use it, you know, uh, I'm not going to let it behind. So, uh, and if there is another opportunity, then uh, I will take him down. <laughs> no, it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> no, I'm only going to strike, so, you know, <laughs> we will see what's going to happen. And I, I think I have to work on that because my stand-up is my, my best game, I think. So I'm going to bring my, my game towards him and we will see what's going to happen. Thank you. Uh, Tim, just to bounce back now, um, you know, what have you done, if anything, to prepare for, you know, the bull rush that is Melvin? I had to see a therapist. Um, he's scary, you know. The uh, um, no post-traumatic stress from my days in the war, but um, I haven't even fought Melvin yet, and I'm already having nightmares. So, you know, he's unquestionably such an exciting, explosive fighter. So. Uh, Trying to bring guys, when I was at Greg Jackson's, trying to bring guys in to imitate him was like nearly impossible. Like, who do you find to fight like Melvin? There is nobody. He's, he's just such a great athlete. Um, you know, but of course, I've, I've had a lot of time to prepare for the March 5th fight. I, I'd started um, training about a month and a half before I got his name. So I was in such great shape by the time that I was given his name that I could really just focus on preparing for fighting him. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of things that we changed. The, uh, you know, my last fight, I got to do a lot of stand-up stuff. So that gave me 25 minutes of footage of things I needed to work on because I didn't look fantastic. So, you know, for the past six months, I've been really training on, on some of my striking. So, you know, I think it's going to be an exciting fight. We have two guys that love to come forward and love to punch each other in the face. So that's just a match made in heaven for fans.